traveling a lot recently. You went to Istanbul? Yeah. I just got, I went to Istanbul uh, last week and uh, just for the hell of it, you know. I, I've never been there. I have no idea what Istanbul is like. Uh, it's, you know, I like to think that I'm a world traveler. I, I feel like I kind of went because I'm cheap because I knew that Istanbul straddles both Asia and Europe. So I knew that I could kind of knock both those out with one trip. Sure. <laughs> It's like I landed on the European side and then I took a boat across and I was in Asia and I was like, done, bucket list. <laughs> my, bucket the, list. The, my bucket list. My, my criteria for my bucket list is super low. <laughs> I, I, I checked off, uh, uh, you know, meeting Conan for meeting a celebrity. Okay, wow. that's not... <laughs> That's just that, wrong. It's again, true. Uh, it's true. That's yeah. just wrong. Wait a minute. That's a very, very narrow view of the world to say, oh, I know I've been to Asia and you're... That's done. A, done. No. Uh, no, I did. I went to Istanbul. Very, very cool. Uh, you know, of course, the Ottoman Empire was run out of it for 600 years and uh, uh, an amazing place. Uh, I went to the, the, the palace there where they have the harem. You know, the, the sultan could, would, would keep a harem. Hundred, uh, hundreds of women in various degrees of like one, he'd have, uh, he'd have multiple wives and uh, you know, to get the next sultan, presumably. Um, but the, the whole thing was run, the harem at any given time was run by these eunuchs, which is pretty like bad. You know, they'd castrate these guys and then be like, okay, now you can, you're in charge of all these women. Which seems pretty cruel. Yeah. Think about it. Yeah, they would, you know? they would take away their... Uh... Ability to, you know, and then... <laughs> And then go, and now you get to go hang out with all these ladies, which seemed kind of all. It'd be like, you know, saying, hey, here's a bunch of candy, but we're going to sew your mouth shut. Yeah, oh. yeah. No, I, it's pretty. Like saying to Andy, like, here's a bunch of booze and like. <laughs> or just here's a bunch of booze. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You, uh, you've worked with Andy on The Millers. I did work with Andy. And, and, I did. Uh, what was that experience He embarrassed like? me. He embarrassed you. What are the rules around here about drinking during the day? Because, like, <laughs> Andy thinks he's in Europe or something. I mean, he, half the day, you know, he's half in the bag, and he's showing up, and he's goofing on his lines. It was, man, I tell you, it was rough. But anyway, we've got, we got him through. <laughs> I, no, actually, truthfully, Andy had to do a, uh, a strip A teach. pole dance, yeah. yeah. A pole dance. And, when is yeah. this going to air? It's already been on. It's already oh. on. Friend. Yeah, thanks a lot. <laughs> Two, it'd be bad enough if it was just one of us. But both yeah. of us. Both of us were on it. Two of your closest friends right. ever. He called me the, uh, after it aired and was like, what did Conan say? Yeah. Nothing. He nothing. nothing. I, feel, I feel bad now. I, I was... This is the second time. <laughs> oh, I'm going to go home tonight and I'm going to watch it. It's on I'd, my TiVo. I'd love to come on this show and, and not just cry once, but cry twice. <laughs> I like to hear the reaction to you crying as people going, ah! <laughs> Hey, I have a quick question. Yeah. Why were you uh, doing a strip tease? What's the dramatic reason for you to be doing a pole dance? Uh, you want to... I played a, like a loser co-worker of his that he took under his wing. Take it easy. And I had, um, <laughs> and I had uh, uh, proposed to a stripper, uh -huh. thinking yeah. that it was a real relationship, and so uh, in my attempt to win her back, I did a pole, we went down to the club and I did a pole dance. Yeah, like you, know? you do. It's like that, <laughs> it's that old storyline that like we ripped off from Green Acres. Yeah, you yeah. Know, all that, all that guy goes and does a pole dance for a stripper. I, I will say again, all bits aside, Andy was very good at it. Very, very good. Yeah. So, <laughs> that's one of those not for nothings. You know? <laughs> they did have to You're reinforce right. the pole, though. All right, yeah. all right. Yeah. We're just gonna keep moving. The but there, there was a woman that was dancing on it, and then when they found out I was gonna be on it, they're like, "Well, we gotta really beef up that." It's <laughs> <laughs> a different watch, thing. Watching him do that really beefed up my pole too. You know? <laughs> all right. Oh yeah. Awful. Awful. Now, come on, we're just a couple of dudes hanging out, bro. Oh, you're awful. By the way